Welcome to Headline Hub Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. The news broke with a force that no one could have anticipated, sending shockwaves through every newsroom and living room across the globe. It was like a thunderclap on a clear day, sudden, electrifying, and impossible to ignore. Trillions in rare earths discovered in Mindanao, screamed headlines worldwide, as news tickers flashed and social media erupted with speculation and awe. August 5, 2025. Etched in history as the day the world's economic map was redrawn, and a new chapter began for the global order. Deep beneath Mindanao's ancient emerald mountains, a colossal deposit of rare earth elements was confirmed, hidden for millennia and now revealed to the world. Initial estimates suggested the find could rival, or even surpass, all known global reserves, an unprecedented windfall that stunned experts and governments alike. This wasn't just a mining story, it was a geopolitical earthquake shaking the foundations of international alliances and economic strategies. For decades, China wrote the rare earth story, dominating the market and holding the world in a delicate balance of supply and demand. Now, the Philippines was poised to shatter that monopoly, stepping onto the world stage as a new power broker in the critical minerals sector. In boardrooms and government halls from Manila to Washington, strategists and analysts saw a once-in-a-generation opportunity, one that could reshape industries and alliances for decades to come. Suddenly, the Philippines wasn't just plus one in the global equation. It was potentially the new number one, a nation at the center of a technological and economic revolution. Financial markets reacted instantly, Chinese rare earth stocks plummeted, while Philippine-linked companies soared to record highs as investors scrambled to reposition. The peso surged overnight signaling a tidal wave of expected foreign investment and newfound confidence in the Philippine economy. This was about more than minerals, it was about power, security, and the future of technology, from smartphones to satellites, electric vehicles to advanced weaponry. The Mindanao find shifted the global balance, moving a critical pivot from China to the Philippines and rewriting the rules of the game. The world held its breath, watching what would happen next, as leaders, investors, and ordinary people tried to grasp the magnitude of this discovery. The joint Philippine-U.S. geological team confirmed unprecedented concentrations of neodymium, dysprosium, terbium, and yttrium, the lifeblood of modern tech, essential for everything from wind turbines to smartphones, electric cars to defense systems. The scale of the deposit meant the Philippines could supply global demand for decades, transforming not just its own future, but the world's. Mindanao, once overlooked and underestimated, was now the center of the world's attention a place where history was being rewritten before our eyes. To truly grasp Mindanao's potential impact on the global stage, you first need to understand the scale of China's dominance in rare earth elements, those essential minerals that power our modern world. For over 30 years, China quietly and methodically took control of the world's technology sector, not through military might, but by monopolizing the supply of rare earths, the backbone of countless high-tech devices. Through strategic investments, aggressive pricing, and relaxed environmental regulations, China systematically drove out competitors, making it nearly impossible for other nations to keep up. By the 2010s, China was producing more than 90% of the world's rare earths, cementing its near-total control over this critical resource. This dominance gave Beijing a powerful geopolitical tool. In 2010, China abruptly halted rare earth exports to Japan during a diplomatic dispute, sending shockwaves through global industries and exposing the world's vulnerability. Suddenly, nations realized they had outsourced not just manufacturing, but the very materials essential for security and advanced technology to a strategic rival. Alternatives outside China were slow to develop and far more expensive. China controlled every step of the supply chain, from mining to processing. While other countries had rare earth reserves, they simply couldn't match China's scale, efficiency, or low costs, leaving the world dependent on a single source. Every smartphone, electric car, and wind turbine, technologies shaping our future, relied on this monopoly, making rare earths a hidden linchpin of modern life. But now, the discovery of vast rare earth deposits in Mindanao, Philippines, changes the equation entirely. This new find introduces a potential giant into the market, one with the resources to challenge and possibly break China's stranglehold on rare earths. For the first time in decades, there's a credible alternative, sparking hope among nations and industries seeking supply chain security. 
countries and companies now have leverage and real choices, opening the door to new partnerships and trade agreements. The future of the world's rare earth supply may finally be shifting, no longer dictated by China alone, but shaped by a more diverse and resilient global market. What are these rare earth elements causing such a global frenzy? These elements often shrouded in mystery are at the heart of a technological revolution. They're not truly rare but rarely found in mineable concentrations. This makes their extraction a complex and costly endeavor. 17 metallic elements with unique properties, think of them as the secret vitamins of technology. They enhance the performance and efficiency of countless devices. Hidden in your smartphone europium and yttrium for the screen, neodymium for magnets, cerium for polishing, these elements are the unsung heroes of our daily gadgets. Electric cars rely on neodymium, dysprosium and other rare earths to function efficiently. And terbium for powerful lightweight motors. These elements are crucial for the future of sustainable transportation. Wind turbines and solar panels depend on rare earths for efficiency. They are the backbone of renewable energy solutions. They're also critical for national security night vision goggles, missile guidance and more jet engines, satellites, and advanced aerospace technologies. A discovery of trillions in rare earths isn't just about wealth, it's about controlling the building blocks of the future. These elements are the currency of tomorrow's innovations. Whoever controls these elements shapes the green economy and next-gen technology. They hold the keys to a sustainable future. These 17 elements are the foundation of our modern, electrified world. They power our cities and connect our lives. The country that controls them wields immense influence over global progress. It's a strategic advantage in the global arena. The Philippines now stands to join or even surpass China in this role. This could shift the balance of power in the global market. The stakes couldn't be higher. The race for rare earths is a race for the future. The Mindanao discovery triggered a global scramble. Stock markets reacted instantly. Chinese mining stocks fell. Philippine-linked companies soared. Tech giants like Apple, Samsung, and Tesla rushed to Manila, eager to secure supply and invest in infrastructure. Governments moved fast, America saw a strategic opportunity, the EU and Japan sent delegations, and South Korea offered technical aid. Even China, downplaying the fine publicly, sent diplomats and business leaders to Manila. The world's powers were now in a bidding war for access. The Philippines, once a secondary player, was suddenly the world's most important chessboard. Investors bet billions on a future where the Philippines was central to the tech supply chain. The archipelago had become the new epicenter of global resource politics. The stakes control over the future of technology and security. The world's eyes were fixed on Manila. For the Philippines this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Trillions in rare earths could transform the nation, creating jobs, building infrastructure and funding education and healthcare. A new middle class could emerge, and millions could be lifted from poverty. The country could become a hub for high-tech manufacturing and innovation. Geopolitically, the Philippines gains leverage and a seat at the global table. For years, the nation's greatest export was its people. Now, opportunity could come home. This is more than a resource, it's a source of national pride and hope. The dream of becoming a first world nation suddenly feels within reach. The world is watching as the Philippines steps onto the global stage. The nation's story is being rewritten. With great opportunity comes great risk, the resource curse. History warns that sudden wealth can bring corruption, conflict, and environmental disaster. Rare earth mining is dirty, producing toxic waste and risking environmental catastrophe if mismanaged. The Philippines has seen mining disasters before, the stakes are high to avoid repeating them. Mindanao's indigenous communities must be respected, their rights, land and consent are non-negotiable. Social unrest and injustice loom if their voices are ignored. Corruption is a constant threat, trillions in new wealth could be siphoned by elites. The gap between rich and poor could widen, fueling instability. Transparency and accountability are essential, every contract and payment must be public. The fight for prosperity is also a fight against corruption. The world is watching to see if the Philippines can avoid the mistakes of the past. The nation stands at a crossroads blessing or curse. Mindanao's discovery has made the Philippines the arena for a new great game. The US offers security and partnership, aiming for a transparent, reliable supply chain. The EU, Japan and South Korea focus on trade, tech transfer and building high-value industries in the Philippines. China uses economic muscle and diplomatic pressure seeking to maintain influence through investment and infrastructure. 
The Philippine government must balance these competing interests while protecting its sovereignty. Every move is watched, every deal has global implications, the stakes control over the world's most critical new resource. The difference between blessing and curse is governance. The Philippines must build strong, transparent institutions to manage its new wealth. Every contract and peso must be public and accountable. A sovereign wealth fund managed independently can secure benefits for future generations. Environmental and social protections must be enforced with real power to halt violations. Indigenous rights must be upheld and local communities must share in the benefits. Universities, civil society and business must all play a role. This is a national project. Success requires everyone's vigilance. The path will be hard, but it's the only way to turn discovery into lasting triumph. The world is watching the Philippines' test of leadership. The Philippines stands at a historic crossroads. One path leads to prosperity, equity, and global influence, built on wise stewardship and good governance. The other leads to the resource curse corruption, division, and squandered opportunity. The choice will be made not by geology, but by the character and wisdom of the Filipino people. The world is watching, hopeful and anxious, the stakes are enormous, not just for the Philippines, but for the future of technology and global power. The nation must play its hand with skill, courage, and responsibility. The next chapter of the Mindanao story is about to be written.